Hi, I'm John DeVore. Welcome to the DeVore Fidelity YouTube channel. Today's going to be a little bit of a record review, a little bit of a guilty pleasure. Uh, but first, a quick t-shirt shout out. Uh, the last video I posted, I was wearing a shirt that is printed with a drawing that I made for Inktober, which is... It was amazing fun. It got me back into drawing. It was a drawing every day uh, inspired by a prompt. And it's, it's an Instagram thing that you can definitely see, Inktober 2020. And I ended up printing uh, a bunch of them on t-shirts. And so there is actually a t-shirt shop. It does t-shirts and it does prints that I'll make here and sign and number myself. The t-shirts are all done by print-on-demand companies. It's probably too late to get anything for the holidays, but there's a link to the Deaf Print Shop down below. Today I want to talk about another one of my guilty pleasures, and this is a big one. It's Christmas music. Christmas was not a religious thing for me. Christmas was anticipation, obviously, for the presents under the tree, having fun decorating the tree. Christmas was Charlie Brown and weird puppet Rudolph on TV. And it was uh, strings of colored lights. And it just, the time of year still to this day makes me happy in sort of a unexplainable childlike kind of way. And so I love it. Anyone who's been here to the factory knows that there are Christmas lights all over the place real incandescent bulb Christmas lights with that perfect kind of tone and pastel quality to the colored lights, not like those LED ones that if you turn your head while you're looking at one, they strobe and those thing kind of things drive me nuts. Anyway, I'm a traditionalist, incandescent C7 or C9 bulbs all around the factory and Christmas music. My stack of favorite Christmas records is so giant that there's no way that I could go through all of them. I'm gonna blast through them. The first few that I'm gonna go through are real favorites, real kind of gems, and then the last ones I'm just gonna go through at a rapid pace. Um, so let's get started. We have The Pretender's 2000 Miles. Oh my God. Chrissy Hines, this is such an epic song, just beautiful. Uh, not specifically a Christmas song, but it is, it takes place during Christmas, blah, blah, blah. This is just a really weird ass one uh, on beautiful green vinyl. Kofi, a very reggae Christmas. And it's weird and kind of awesome if you can find it. I don't know how common it is. This is another really weird one, but it's kind of great. Sorry, the picture's upside down. This is Bing Crosby and David Bowie Christmas. You really get a sense of Bowie's beautiful baritone voice going beautifully with Bing Crosby's bass voice. It's, it's actually surprisingly good. This one I love. This is the band Low. This is their Christmas record that came out a few years ago. And it is wonderful. Low's, Low's music is extremely low-key, super minimalist. Um, and these are... These are Christmas songs done in a melancholy kind of key, but beautifully done. I really like that one. This one is probably at the top of the crazy and unexpected list. This is the John Zorn Christmas record. This came out a few years ago to everyone's surprise, and it is really good. It is really kind of a straight-up Christmas record. It's got all of his usual cats on it. Mark Rebo guitar, Joey Barron on drums. So these guys can seriously play and they kind of do a straight-up no-joke kind of jazz Christmas record. More straight-up than most uh, jazz Christmas records. And, and it also wins for most beautiful piece of vinyl. What makes it so crazy is that John Zorn is a New York Jewish saxophone player whose whole presentation, I mean, one of his groups is called Masada. His whole presentation has a very Jewish-centric, a lot of his music is written with a, sort of a Middle Eastern flavor and, and the, the keys that he writes in have a lot to do with kind of klezmer music and things like that. And so, but, but here you go with a full-on beautiful and kind of earnest Christmas record. But who should really be surprised? Because most of the great Christmas songs were written by uh, Jewish songwriters anyway. Here's one that I love. 
Lou Rawls, Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Oh my God, you gotta love it. Look at that white suit. What, what, I'm sure there's very funky Christmas presents in there. Here's another amazing one, because this is sort of a mix of tons of killer jazz interpretations of Christmas music. We got Duke Ellington doing Jingle Bells, Lionel Hampton with White Christmas. We got Santa Claus Coming to Town by Dave Brubeck, Chico Hamilton, Carmen McRae, Herbie Hancock, Miles Davis. It's actually really good. And the, the amazing thing about a lot of these kinds of records is that they are super cheap. Oh, uh, here's what, anyone who was around in the 80s with the AIDS crisis. This was a big one. This was played on the radio all the time. Still, there's some songs on here played all the time. We got Madonna, U2, Run DMC, Christmas in Hollis is amazing. We got Bruce, Whitney, Eurythmics, Pointer Sisters, John Cougar, Mellencamp, Sting, Stevie Nicks, Bon Jovi. Did I say Bon Jovi already? The Pretenders, another Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by The Pretenders. This one's a killer one. And again, you can find these in the dollar bins all day long. Another dollar bin special, Stevie Wonder. Oh my God. How can you beat Stevie Wonder? This is so good. It's so good. Al Green, The Reverend, White Christmas, huh? Oh, and here's another. This is another one of my absolute favorites, Booker T. This is the ultimate Stax version of these songs. Jingle Bell, Santa Claus, Winter Wonderland. So good. And, and great sounding. A lot of these are great sounding. Come on now, Beach Boys, Christmas. Nothing else to say about that. You know, Charlie Brown, Christmas. You know, this is music that gets way overplayed. This became the Christmas soundtrack in every store. It was a Starbucks thing. It's just everywhere. But you know what? Maybe it's because I grew up watching these. This one, and you know, you got to get the version that that has the book, right? Because the book is is the cool version. <laughs> you know, maybe it's because I grew up in the 70s watching this. I really sympathized with the Charlie Brown cartoons in the 70s. You know, maybe as a kind of a weird loner kid growing up. I, this really gelled with me. This whole, the whole Charlie Brown vibe with the psychological inner monologues going around, it totally spoke to me. And to this day, no one has done the minor key Christmas as good as Vince. What else do we have here? This is the 50 cent record right here with Louis Armstrong, Bing Crosby, and Nat King Cole, come on. Value, Jackson 5, another just, it's just killer, so good. Oh, uh, here we go, Jimmy McGriff, Oregon. This is Christmas with McGriff. So good, it's funky. How about, how about Sal Soul Orchestra 1 and 2 Christmas? Christmas Jollies, come on, they're so good. Get the Christmas Jollies. And now we're gonna just go through, so these are these are just more of those collections. 50 cent records everywhere. They're so cheap. And a lot of these have amazing stuff. Sammy Davis Jr., Joe Stafford, Tony Bennett, Ella, Bing Crosby, Julie Andrews. Oh my God. And then some of them are more serious. So how about Leotine Price and Herbert Von Karajan with the Vienna? Really serious, but Leontine Price, I mean, come on. Powerhouse, powerhouses. Johnny Mathis, yeah, come on. Bing Crosby, so much. Sinatra, he did lots of Christmas stuff. They're so good. Nat King Cole again, Funky Christmas. This one we have Lou Donaldson, we have The Impressions. Again, 50 Cent Records. Calypso Christmas, what? That's amazing. Mancini Christmas, and here's another 50 Cents. This, is, this one is kind of amazing. This is a box set. Where do you want to go with this? You want to go E Power Biggs with the organ. You want to go Johnny Mathis, Burl Ives, Doris Day, Patty Page. How much is that doggy in the whatever? How about Herb Albert, Winter Wonderland? How about Sweet Little Jesus Boy by Mahalia Jackson? Just, it's like so much good stuff. Some of these are even free. You find them on the sidewalk. And let's not forget these little tiny ones, Karanga Bin, or however the hell you pronounce that. This is, a, this is actually a killer cover of the Vince Guaraldi Charlie Brown Christmas. And last but not least, but not least, the crazy, hilarious Jimi Hendrix. One side is Band of Gypsies, one side is the experience. It is hilarious. Even Jimmy can't get through the whole thing without cracking up. It's just, it's so good. There's so much 
amazing Christmas music out there. No disrespect to those who really want to make Christmas serious again, but there's something about this time of year that brings out the child in me and the music and the Christmas lights all do that. Makes me happy. Play this music, make yourself happy, drink some eggnog or some mulled wine. And thank you for watching. Happy holidays. And I hope to see you at the next video. Thanks.